This is Cybert signing into the most close up I've ever been to some Tiberium. In Kane's Wrath, on the map, Tiberium Rift in the northern position. Blaine as the blue nod. This is Master Leaf. And in the set, wait, Refinery first. What a goofball. All right, in the south as the purple Zocom, this is Bike Rush Owns. Bike Rush Owns vs. Master Leaf, one of the most entertaining, anything can happen kind of matchups. Tiberium Rift, classic map at this point, of course. It is a twist on Tournament Rift which was the most popular 1v1 map by far for, I don't know, close to 10 years in Kane's Wrath. Something like that. Bike Rush Owns going to be playing that purple Zocom, which is a little bit surprising if you saw Zocom versus Nod and the Zocom player is purple. You assume that it's Master Leaf and not Bike Rush. He gets one scout up, second Harvester pops on out for Master Leaf. And Bike Rush is going to see the refinery timings as well. Shredder Truck gets deployed on the opposite side of the map, and everything is looking pretty normal for both players. Tip Spikes were captured. Militant gets cleaned up. Rifleman does manage to survive, and that's going to be a bit annoying for Master Leaf. He's going to do the old unpack repack for this Nod MCV. He gets his Harvester out, and I assume he will... We're then redeploy. Okay, no. He's going to he's gonna keep on walking. Bike Rush Owns dodging that MCV. Alright, the additional power plants are going to be coming up here for Master Leaf momentarily. And Bike Rush Owns is driving his way to his natural expansion. Maybe a little bit too close to the rocks. If you wanted to uh, critique Bike Rush Owns, I think those rocks would have prevented his MCV deploying, but he had vision on his opponent this entire time. He had two scouts watching Master Leaf. So in another game, that would have been risky, but it's Bike Rush Owns. He's keeping an eye on Master Leaf. He knows that there isn't six bikes coming for his MCV that are just going to pop out of nowhere and like take him down to half health in an instant. So... Master Leaf is going to be heading to the south. Bike Rush is heading to the north. And a big thanks to the folks who support the channel over on Patreon, like Media Storm, Deadly Shadow, Freddy I, Anoxic, Interface, Jinwick, John M, Paul D, The Arbiter, and Yuri S. Always appreciated, never obligated, but those people help the channel keep running. And, uh, well, the videos come out for free for everyone, so... Thank you for watching, regardless of whether or not you support on Patreon. Couple of pit bulls here for Bike Rush Owns. Refineries getting added on at the natural expansion for both players. Greed is the name of the game. Oh, one other note. This is 1.02 plus R19 version F, I believe. The, it might be even E. The current version is G, so this is a little bit of an older game, a little bit of an older match, but it's still the R19 version of 1.02 plus. So it is the biggest, or it is the newest big change coming into the game. Operation Center gets added on for Master Leaf. Bike Rush Owns should have his command post finishing up relatively soon, but as you can see, Bike Rush Owns manages to sneak out the operate the command post and the airfield before Master Leaf's second refinery. Master Leaf goes to War Factories instead of two refineries, and we'll see if his bike buggy swarm is able to get anything done on the map. Is this for Orcas? Ooh, actually, my Bike Rush Owns is not just using that airfield for the Orca Strike and then selling it off. Nice damage. That Zorka Strike is so powerful. And whoa, okay. Master Leaf goes straight up to Tier 3. Skips his second refinery, but he gets the second War Factory. That's 
his safety point. Normally, Master Leaf is a lean into the greed kind of guy. He's a big believer in your bigger economy is the ticket to victory. But in this game, we're seeing a bit of a mix up from that. Nice scout by Master Leaf. It looks like he will see basically everything that there is to see. I think he got all of the important points and he may also know about this MCV. Moving on out for Bike Rush. All right, MCV deploys. Bike Rush owns very cautious with this much bike buggy. Okay, it's not actually that much bike buggy. Watchtower popping off those hallucinated decoy units one by one. Zone Shatterers are here for Bike Rush owns. And this is looking like a bit of a trade back and forth. Hammerheads in the sky, taking a bit of pressure. And one hammer head okay finally it goes down so many rockets sunk into that hammerhead as watchtowers pit bulls and shatterers get the damage on the exit nice catch of the harvesters it's a cross map move from master leaf four watchtowers with ap ammo to defend against this bit of pressure uh, Master Leaf might need to just get on out of there. He can trade against a hammerhead, but not necessarily against all of this armor that is headed his way. Ah, there we go. The one clicks coming in. Master Leaf finds the damage, kills himself two predators, some other units as well, and softens up several of these. Of, oh my gosh, he went Tib Core as well. So opens up several of these harvesters. The Tib Core is a perfect addition as the Marv gets added on by Bike Rush Owns in the south. And Bike finds the way to sneak out the Marv, which means Marvist yum yum this field from Master Leaf. He is going to hoover up all of this delicious green Tiberium. And if that is not the beautiful glow, then I don't know what is because that is going to be this plan for Bike Rush. Take your own third while you Marvist your opponent's third. He's done this many, many times. Uh, to be fair, lots of players have attempted this. Feels like Bike Rush owns always manages to get away with it, though. But it's a classic tactic for late game GDI factions. Catches the Harvester, catches the Refinery, and Bike Rush Owns immediately replaces that Refinery. It's been a long time since a Catalyst Cannon has, a uh, Catalyst Missile has actually killed a Harvester. Of course, it used to kill every Harvester on the map, but ever since it got reduced in power in 1.02 plus, it really doesn't do that much damage to Harvesters comparatively. Three War Factories. Is Master Leaf really producing off of all three of these? Wow, I guess when it's Bike Buggy with a couple of beams, I guess you can afford it. Uh, okay, no, he's canceled everything in the north, so he might just sell that one off. And there we go, soaking up that Tiberium. But Master Leaf is hoping to soak up that health bar. He wants some green for himself. He's going to be able to clean out those Zone Raiders, and he is going for the EMP on the Marv. One coin. No, he finally lands it. And that's a big barrage coming in from these attack bikes. That Tib Core is so powerful. And good night, Sally, as this Marv gets eliminated. Those Bulldogs are here. He's like, I'm here, could I call in the reinforcements? And then immediately the Marv just explodes as everything unloads from those ox transports. And the fight is being kept alive. Master Leaf expands to the third base. He's got half a field left of Tiberium, but that can still be a very powerful half field indeed. Behind this, Bike Rush Owns finally gets his first refinery on his third. These beam cannons pop in the units one by one. No, the Zone Troopers, the Zone Raiders get a massive shot off, softening up this whole army. Orange, red, and yellow health bars, and Bike Rush Owns finds the kill as Master Leaf descends upon these Raiders, hoping to end them once and for all. A couple of beams have survived, and Master Leaf has made safe his third base. Bike Rush Owns is throwing some uh, wrenches into the works, stealing away a ton of that Tiberium. Master Leaf is hitting back one for one as much as he can, but there's the additional refinery coming in here for Bike Rush Owns. He's finally got both of his refineries at his natural, or at his third base up and running, and the beams will find it. 
mass lasers will seal the deal as that blue Tiberium Harvester gets snuffed out. Zocom doesn't have behemoths, doesn't have juggernauts. What is Bike Rush going to do to take the win? Normally I would say just go for the Marv, but he's already tried that. He needs another Marv if he's going to hope for that to work. Well, he's moments away from that. Moments away, everyone. Moments away from a fresh Marv to go for bike for Master Leaf's third once again. One refinery is down. Second refinery gets melted. It's a hit for hit on these refinery or on these third fields because Master Leaf says, You're taking away my field. I'm taking away your economy. One harvester dies on the exit. It's mass infantry from Bike Rush Owns, but it's mass buggy from Master Leaf. And the buggies are melting those rocket squads one by one. Engineer gets snuffed out. Harvesters EMP'd and the beam cannons burn them all to the ground. Master Leaf has only the Marv and the MCV to stop and he has got a clear path to victory. If the EMPs land, Master Leaf might be able to take this one home, seal the deal with this weird buggy beam style. Normally it's bike buggy, there's some transition points, the late game upgrades can give you some additional utility, but normally this is not the play this is not the standard uh, Marv gets caught that rear armor MCV as well but it's not fast enough as the sonic emitter gets deployed the beams burn it down immediately and try to deploy a oh my gosh look at that health bar it's no more as that Marv goes down the GG gets called and bike rush owns takes the L what a play from Masterly, what in the world was that build? Beam Buggy, it apparently beats Bike Buggy, and look at that economic difference. Masterly, way underperforming for 50% of the game. Of course, at the beginning, they're even neck and neck, and then Bike Rush owns further and further and further ahead, and it's only a 12 minute game, but Bike Rush Owns almost lost his economic lead at the end, and Master Leaf takes the game regardless. What a match from these two, and what an unorthodox style from Master Leaf. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick one. And this is Cyber, signing out.